Max is the greatest bear in the world. He's got this lip <laughs> that kind of pouts a little bit. <laughs> I just love that bear. To know that we're helping him in some small way really makes me happy every time I think of him, which is daily. I would never say that I'm a quiet person. Um, nobody would ever describe me, ever, as quiet. Um, in fact, I think people would also describe me as a little hard on the outside and soft on the inside. I'm a huge animal lover, almost to the point of my husband's dismay because occasionally he has come home to find <laughs> a stray. Um, but I, I love anything having to do with animals. People describe me as, as very passionate about anything that I happen to be involved in. My job means a great deal to me. I love the people that I work with. Work in corporate America and in advertising sales. It's a demanding job. It can be a very stressful job. It reaps great benefits when you work hard. The thing I love the most in my life right now is being a mom. We have a wonderful 10-year-old son who I am obsessed with. <laughs> I just, I love watching him grow and watching him develop. I, like many, many working moms, have a lot going on and sometimes it just feels like it never, ever slows down. <laughs> I remember the first time that I took my son um, out to the sanctuary and to just be amongst these amazing animals, it, it was life changing. He'd never seen anything like it. He'd only seen a zoo. He was so elated to see these tigers running around and bears climbing all over the place. And then the stories that follow about what these animals have been through are emotional. <laughs> um, these animals have been traumatized their whole life. And they have no hope. They truly don't, and, and that now that there was this place that, that gave them hope and that gave them something to live for, so much room to breathe and to run and to play and to be what they were put on this earth to be, this sanctuary is one of a kind. My son is growing up in a time and in a world where everybody seems out for themselves. It's all about how can I get more and how can this benefit me? And seeing the look on his face made me realize that this was an organization that we needed to be a bigger part of. I've really worked very hard to try to teach him that we are put on this earth for others in being involved with the Wild Animal Sanctuary, it's been very easy to teach him that. We have adopted Cricket the Tiger. We've adopted several other animals, but we got stuck on Max three years ago. Max is our guy. We love Max. And we have pictures of him up in my son's room and around the house. And we look at those pictures and we talk about what he must be doing or what is he doing right now. And we always talk about his lip. His lip. And he, while he's not physically here with us, he's here with us. And that just makes him a part of our family. The Wild Animal Sanctuary has, has changed the discussions that we have in this house to teach uh, my son, and I hope I have instilled in him, a huge, sensitive, caring heart. Because if you have that, I genuinely think that's all you need. I want to give everything I can to the sanctuary. I would like to adopt 
every animal out there, but the small contributions that I am making are making a difference. It takes all of us from the littlest things to the largest donations, it all makes a difference. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Max and all those extraordinary animals to us. And for saving them. <laughs>